please welcome back onto the stage, it's Christian Lee. Ambidextrous, that is. I'll give my right hand to be ambidextrous. I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so back again. Hello, uh, your wife. Yeah, good. Excellent, <laughs> fabulous. Now, uh, you're right, James. Yeah. Super. <laughs> We're going on tour, James and I. <laughs> right. So um, I'm very excited because I, I thought, what, what better to do? Come back. How, how can I? How can I improve on what happened before with James? In fact, I know just how. With the magic of the banana. Woo! That's right, the magic of the banana is the correct response. Ooh. And I place the banana in my pocket just like that, and it comes out the other pocket like this. Like that and like this. Like this and like that. Like that and like this. I'm not getting everybody on this, by the way. <laughs> Some people are holding back a little bit, because they think, ah, we know there's two bananas in your right. Four. It's getting very sexy banana now. <laughs> oh, five. Do you know I've actually performed this in front of royalty, you know? Yeah. In fact, King Charles. Yeah? Yeah, I did actually do this for King Charles. In fact, he said he was King Charles. Actually, what he said was, if you're a magician, I'm King Charles. Yeah. <laughs> it's slightly getting smaller, is that me? I can make them the same size, watch and be amazed. There's two bananas of different heights, but watch the same size. <laughs> it's a perspective joke. <laughs> From your perspective, not that funny. That's funny. Bigger again. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually an onion, but hey, it doubles up as a shallot. Right, so no, look, good news, just, just recently I um, got a phone call uh, uh, from, from America's Got Talent. Yeah, because I was on Britain's Got Talent a few years back. Um, it, it, did you see me? Give me a cheer if you saw me on Britain's Got Talent. Hmm. Give me a cheer if you didn't see me on Britain's Got Talent. You seem so much happier about that. <laughs> I'm over it. Uh, so, um, what it was, it's actually a personal call from Simon Cow. Yeah, phoned me from Los Angeles and said, Christian Lee, you did so great down at, down at Britain's Got Talent in, in England. In fact, we want to fly you out to America. And I said, great, would I be working with Amanda Holden again? And he said, no, the restraining order is still coming. <laughs> Which is great, because she just wouldn't leave me alone. She just kept chasing me around everywhere. So um, he said, what you need to do is get yourself down to that theatre, your favourite theatre down at the um, Library Theatre <laughs> in Sheffield. <laughs> and he said, find yourself a lady there who's going to come out, all expenses paid, to America, Los Angeles, for two weeks filming. <laughs> Does that sound like anybody here? Yeah. <laughs> Can't be you again, James. <laughs> Tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to let happenstance take a part. I'm going to use my laser light here. There it is. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> I'm going to pass the laser upon each and every member of the audience. That's right. Mildly blinding one or two of you. <laughs> and when the music stops, that's the person I'm going to choose. And the music's in my own head. It's Shania Twain. <laughs> Thanks. What, that don't impress you much? Huh? <laughs> just, it's going to be you anyway, so just get you know. Just heads up. 
Just act surprised. Yeah. Oh, look, it's you. What's the chances? Wow. the audition process, Claire. <laughs> you know them. <laughs> this is the audition. It's, it's not certain yet, Claire, you understand. We've got to do the audition. You know what's involved in the audition, don't you, Claire? Yeah, it's well, good, because it's a bit like Naked Attraction, this bit. <laughs> just a few of you then, right? <laughs> okay, just hold your hand out, just like this. We're going to shine the laser. And it's gone right through to the other side. Turn it, let's see. <laughs> hold through in a minute. There we go. I'll just take it. <laughs> Just a little light entertainment. <laughs> now, now, Claire, I'm so excited that you would volunteer like that with your eyes. Her eyes were volunteering. Oh. And in fact, Claire, I knew you were going to be here. It's, it's fair to say, Claire, I knew Claire was going to be here because I, Christian Lee, had a premonition. So some people like to call it. A dream, a dream, a dream, a dream. A dream that Claire and I were here together, standing on stage here at the library theatre. We were holding hands, willingly. I'm swaying to the music, weren't we, Claire? We swayed out of time first. And as we swayed out, oh, in time <laughs> and then we caught each other's eyes for the first time <laughs> we, we did it again <laughs> but, but that wasn't enough for Claire Claire wanted more so I reached behind me and grabbed something big my giant deck of cards <laughs> my big deck of cards Claire held on to my deck of cards with, with, uh, with, with both hands. That's right, Claire needed two hands to hold on to my deck, and we swayed a bit more. And then Claire started to formulate an idea, a card in her own mind. She first chose one, then changed her mind, went for a different one, then went back to the first one she bought off in the first place. And then uh, something happened. Only that moment, Claire named the card she was thinking of out loud, in the microphone. That's right, out loud. Before she said anything, that was a loud voice. It was my voice, and it woke me from the dream. And the dream was over. over. Claire was devastated. But she knew it was OK, because I had a backup plan. She knew that I brought with me. <laughs> Sleep. <laughs> psychic toothbrushes as it happened. <laughs> Claire held on to one psychic toothbrush, I took the other, and then we psychically started to communicate. <laughs> they were Bluetooth. <laughs> it wasn't working, was it, Claire? Claire needed something else, so Claire suggested. A giant leaf blower, that's right. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Just so happened I had a leaf blower with me. <laughs> yes, a psychic leaf blower. It had two attachments for safety, and uh, Claire chose her favourite. Excellent. And, and she held on to the opening like that. And Claire slid it over the nozzle. That's right. Just eased it on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It just went, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> a bit, a bit stiff. <laughs> is that all right, Claire? Claire? You got any kids? No, not, not surprising, really, is it? <laughs> Here we go. Let's get the psychic leaf blower working.
I don't think Claire was expecting this to happen tonight. <laughs> Claire and I started to psychically communicate. Our minds were linked. They were linked in as one. <laughs> it's all of a sudden, Claire got the card in her mind. But not any ordinary card, one single incandescent card. The card of the future, the past, the present. One card in this deck is different. It's the only card facing the other way. One single card, Claire's card, she's about to announce, will be that card. Card, card. Claire, clear, concise voice. <laughs> Name the card you're thinking of out loud. Eight of clubs. Eight of clubs. The, the ace of... Eight, all right, eight. <laughs> Okay. Would you be amazed if the eight of clubs is in the pack? Yeah. It's gonna be in the pack, you're right. <laughs> How about if it's the only card facing the other way? It's standing ovation time. We're going to America! Here it is. Look, witness, behold. Is it the eight of clubs? Oh, hopefully. Is it, is it, is it, is it? Oh wait, I said it would be facing the other way. Claire, can you see the eight of clubs there? Claire, Claire, is it there? Keep looking. It's not there, is it? I'll spread them out a little bit more. No? Do you know why? It's not there. Because the eight of clubs is not in the pack. James is sitting on the eight of clubs. <laughs> James, stand up. Is the eight of clubs there? <laughs> is, it, is, is it there, James? Yes or no, we do. James, I think you're paying a lot of attention to this. <laughs> Is it there? Is it there, James? No, but that would have been good, wouldn't it? <laughs> can't be there because it's here. Look, the only car facing the other way, the eight of clubs, there it is, I see it now, yes. <laughs> Shall I turn it around? Yeah. I can't do that, of course. Claire, you have to take the car, reverse the car, take it out. But wait, Claire, we have to do it in slow motion. <laughs> Just uh, need to take the balloon off my head and uh, yeah, just um, just take the balloon off. That's fine. So um, no, 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 just just um, just from the ears. That's it. So look, ladies. Um, yeah, yeah, all right, just all right. Gra grab me roughly from behind. All right. <laughs> not 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 like last night. Right. Okay. Quick. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. Hold my shoulders, Claire. Got my shoulders. Hold tight. Don't let go. 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 Your life. 
Go to, go to the mix. Save yourself. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Give it up and clap. <laughs> oh. oh, thank you. Well done, Claire. Bra, get that bra. <laughs> 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 That's my whistle. <laughs> hey, look, I've got to go. Uh, actually, uh, actually, have to go. Uh, my uncle always said, leave them wanting more. That's right. Uh, he, he was an anaesthetist for the NHS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good matter. Good matter. Uh, th thanks very much. You've been absolutely stellar. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the show. Good night. Christian Lee.